Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? We are back with a first ever Skybox opening of Metal Universe Avengers cards from Upper Deck. Now, these came out not too long ago, maybe like a month or so ago, and I was watching people open them, and I know Blue was actively trying to get a Moon Knight card from this set, and it just never worked out. Like, he was going into different bids and other places trying to bid on the character, but they would just go a little bit out of our price range. So we actually had a Target gift card, and they started selling these at our local Target. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pick one of these up because uh, it was only 10 bucks for us after the gift card. And uh, I'm going to give it a chance. And we're going to see if we can get a Moon Knight card for Blue. And Blue actually got us some Marvel Annual cards. So those will be our next ones we'll be opening up. They'll come out. Maybe we'll get them in mid-October is when they're supposed to come in the mail. We have a Hobby Box and two Blasters. And there's going to be a lot of cool, fun symbiote stuff in there. And some Moon Knight characters like Scarlet Scarab, Moon Knight himself, and Hunter's Moon that are going to be in that set. But in this one, we're mainly just looking for Moon Knight. Um, you know, any other characters we get, all bonuses. If we get some cool cards, numbered cards, anything special, obviously that would be amazing. Um, and we'll, you know, put them on our eBay store or find someone to trade with. Whatever we got to do so we can get more cards for the channel. Um, but this one, I just thought... Yeah, let's try it out. Let's, uh, you know, they look kind of cool online. I saw someone's video on it. I think it was Spidey Hits. And I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. Like, I, I, I dig this. And I know Blue is always, you know, down for more cards. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be the one opening them this time, Blue. I hope that's okay with you. But on here, you got cool artwork, Taskmaster, um, Discover Original Art Sketch Cards, and Comic Cut Memorabilia Cards. There's also a Blaster Exclusive Copper FX Parallels. So that'd be cool if we can get a Moon Knight one of those in this box. I know that's a tall ask, I'm sure. But you get six packs in this box, as you saw here, and six cards per pack. That's really good. Um, actually, blaster boxes, I noticed um, your odds of getting certain cards are, you know, change sometimes. But uh, there's some, you know, insert cards that you don't get at all when you get a blaster box. But that's okay, because sometimes we just want the base set, or we're just looking for one or two characters. And, and if we get them, great. If not, you know, we're only out, in this case, $10 and a gift card. So uh, we're cool with that. Um, but then, yeah, there's some pack odds on there that they'll give you for some of the cards in this, uh, like grandiose parallels and, and all that stuff. So I, I don't know the full range of the cards in this series, I haven't followed it that much. I just kind of had a video on from Spidey Hits. I know Blue watches him a lot. So I had one of his videos on, and he was kind enough to have, you know, me and us on the show talking about Moon Knight. So I still like to support him when I'm fronting as well. And I saw a video that Blue hadn't watched yet, so I figured, yeah, I'll check it out. And it was one of the case unboxings of this series. So I have my sleeves and everything. It's nice to have everything set up. You know, Blue likes this too, where we have our sleeves over here and our, our top loaders. So without further ado, let's go into... Boom, our first card, Ronin, a.k.a. Hawkeye or Echo. There's been a diff couple different versions of this character, um, but from the new Avengers, from that Brian Michael Bendis run. That's really cool. Yeah, these cards, they look nice, though. They do use comic book artwork. I think I heard some people say some art on this was reused, but, you know, it, a lot of this is new to me, at least for cards, because we just got into collecting this year with cards. Um, although Blue and... I, we've done magic cards before, but uh, and speaking of which, magic Marvel cards in 2025, Blue is very excited. <laughs> so, so be on the lookout for us getting those. Um, hey, we got Red Skull. That's kind of cool. That art, giant gun on him, very cool. All right, and they got the stats on the back. I like that that they did that. Cool. We got Radioactive Man. Oh, nice. That's a Thunderbolts character. You know what? I'll put them aside. Maybe we can build a Thunderbolts roster. I don't know if they're all in this set, though. That's I wonder if Songbird and Mach 5, was it? Uh, Mach 1? Um, yeah, Mach 5, I think. Uh, who, who is actually the Beetle, I think. So Thunderbolts, I could talk about them all day. They're, they're really cool. But hey, maybe there's a cool thing we got with Citizen V. Maybe we can build a Thunderbolt set. So I'm going to set him aside for right now. Um, all right, our next card. Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. All right. And I think the hit might be the fifth card. So uh, so if that's the case, great. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. Miss Marvel, card 83. And our hit, I guess. Oh, look at that. Beast, Mr. Hank McCoy. In the, the, this is the copper, I think, right? Yeah, look at that. Avengers 151 came out in 1976. I like that they put where... You know, where these characters... Well, that's not his first appearance, but I'm guessing where the art is from. Um, that's cool. All right. Yeah, sorry. It's been a while since I've 
sleeve something. <laughs> so yeah, all right. So we got that. I'll, I'm going to top load this too because who knows? Maybe there's a beast collector out there that is trying to look for a copper to complete their rainbow. So, so we'll, we'll keep them right there. And then our last one is the Serpent Society. Look at that. A whole boardroom of enemies and villains. That's very cool. They could do this for the Life Foundation too, for, for Venom. Um, all right. So that was pack one. I love that Captain America is on these packs. Great. Um, yes. So, ooh, all right. So Human Torch is our back card there. Kang the Conqueror. All right, I, I like this character. Uh, so that's really cool. I might tuck him aside. Some of these characters I really want to keep. Uh, oh, so this is another character that I know we're looking for Moon Knight, but this is the other character in the set that Blue wanted and I completely forgot about. Tigra and Moon Knight are dating in the comics right now. They used to have kind of a thing when they were on the West Coast Avengers back in the day, but they rekindled that in the Jed McKay run. And he's like, dude, she's part of the Midnight Mission. We need a card of hers. So we got one. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sleeve and top load this because I know it's a base card, but it's one that Blue really wants. And he actually tried to bid on her a couple times and got outbid. It's frustrating with us because sometimes he'll bid and I don't know he's bidding on stuff. And so I won't even think to look uh, on eBay and, uh, and he'll bid on things. And I'm like, dude, you should have told me I was fronting at that time. I could have added a couple bucks to it or whatever. Cause sometimes he would only lose by like a, you know, like a dollar. He would bet $10 on it and then someone would win for 11. And it's like, dude, we would have, I would have gone to 20 bucks for you if I would have known. So it does get frustrating with us going back and forth um, and uh, about bids and stuff, especially if purple is at his work, he's not going to check eBay or do any of that stuff at his work. So yeah, it does get tough to win bids sometimes. Uh, Spectrum, cool. We got another copper card. Maybe there's a copper in every pack. That's cool. Ooh, that Iron Fist artwork is awesome. That is wicked looking. Very cool. I dig that. All right, well, let's save the hit. Oh, whoa, whoa. I thought I was saving the hit. What? It, what is this? Grandiose. All right, not a numbered card, but dude. Human Torch in blue, that's interesting. That would have been cool to get him in fire or red, but dude, getting him in blue, that's neat. All right, let me top load this. Awesome. Human Torch, West Coast Avengers number 50, November. Warner manages to revive Human Torch, this new team. Oh, this is the Jim Hammond Human Torch. Oh, that's right. I was going to say that didn't look like Johnny's costume. This is cool. So this is like the android human torch from World War II with Captain America and Namor. Um, that is really awesome. Yeah, and the Wonder Man storyline. I remember that. I'm a, I, I like Wonder Man. I'm a fan of that character. Um, all right, so then our copper is the wasp. Oh, and look at that. It's like classic artwork. Card 101. So I... Interesting. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this set has like a base set with like more modern artwork. And then this is the actual artwork from that comic book, Avengers 217 from 1982. That's the year I was born, by the way. Um, so, uh, or we were born. But yeah, this is Wasp with the classic artwork. So maybe that's what it is. They put modern art on some of the cards and maybe then there's a version of the cards with retro art. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I remember hearing about that of one set of Upper Deck and Marvel, but I don't know if it, that's this set or not. So please educate me if, if I'm wrong. Um, all right, so we're on pack number three. I'm going to try to speed up a little bit here um, so we can get... Whoa, what is that? Whoa, something something's cut differently in here. Um, all right, so there's Beast. Beast in the base. That's awesome. Ooh, Quicksilver. We might be able to build ourselves a, an Avengers team here too. Um... That's cool looking. These cards are m much sharper than I thought they would look, actually. So that's cool. Um, hey, speaking of Quicksilver, when we got Speed now, that's a Young Avengers character. That might get tucked aside, actually. Um, wait, what is that? There's something. Okay, hold on. Let me let's get Human Torch out of the way. That's the base. That's the retro art one. That's cool. Um, Oh, we got the copper of Quicksilver. And then what is this thing? Whoa! Pile driver. What? What is this? 
Palladium P36. All right, so it's not a numbered card, but it is, uh, it is a cool looking card. I'm not too familiar with the character. Um, he's part of the Wreckers, but I, I, I don't know like too much of his backstory. But you know, I have a friend who's a big fan of the Wreckers. Maybe I could gift this to him. I don't know if he'd be interested. He doesn't really collect cards, but um, that's wild looking. That's a really cool looking card. Uh, you know, um, again, it's, it's not a, like the character is fine. Like I, I think I would take any character in a card like this really. But uh, knowing that it's a wrecker though, I have a friend who collects wreckers. Honestly, that's like the, he, he wants to write a wreckers movie. Kind of how I am with slingers. Um, so uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I got to tuck that aside for him. He might like that. That's really cool, though. I, I don't know the pack odds of those, but that's a, that's a neat card. <laughs> that's a really neat card. I wonder if there's a Moon Knight version of that. If so, then, you know, I'm going to have to look for one of those for blue. We'll both have to look for it on eBay. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty cool. So we're on pack four. This has been a pretty fun little box so far. Um, hey, we got Norman Osborn. Sweet. Looking nice and green in his suit. Thanos, the Mad Titan. Look at that with the fist and hand ready. He wants his gauntlet back. Dude, that's so cool looking. All right. Oh, Iron Lab. We got another Young Avenger. So we got him in speed. That's cool. Maybe we can start putting together a team. We also have Kang. <laughs> How perfect. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't read Young Avengers, but it's an older book. You really should check it out. Um, Gray Gargoyle. Awesome looking. Another fun character. Um, all right. Who do we got back here? Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. The base Falcon with the classic art. I do like that. The classic art ones are they they look good on this. They they got some high res scans of of this which is great. That's one of the things I like about digital comics is that you know Marvel and DC archiving these old pages and finding them and remastering them and rescanning them and having them in high res some of this old artwork that you just don't see in the page, you know, a lot of those pages are yellow or you know got ripped or you know they didn't survive some of it and having the artwork in like those ed editions is awesome in the digital editions. So, like, I have all that original Ghost Rider stuff, uh, all the ones up until Volume 6, I think, the masterpieces. Um, and it's great to see them in crisp detail. Like, they look really good. And our copper card. Ooh, Darkhawk. That is awesome. What a great character. Avengers Arena, number one. Okay, sweet. So, I'm going to go ahead and top load this as well. And get him situated so we got two packs left no moon knight but I, I you know i'm happy that we got tigra that's for sure um for me 10 bucks we would have if we would have just bought tigra on ebay we with shipping we probably just spent 10 dollars. so i'm glad that we got her um hopefully though we've got two packs left hopefully we get a a base moon knight any moon knight will take anything just as long as it's moon knight please all right pack number five this has another weird card in it i think nope never mind they lined up okay Scarlet Witch, awesome. I like the artwork, the detail on that one. That looks really good, actually. Ant-Man, cool. Not a lot of duplicates so far. Just a maybe Quicksilver and Beast, but at least we got Copper and Regular with those. Um, Lionheart, awesome. Kind of a deep dig there, but that's cool. Justice, dude, no way. I actually like Avengers Academy a lot. If you haven't read that book, it's really, really good. I think that's what first introduced me to Christos Gage and his work, and... Uh, yeah, really, that whole run, though. I think Dan Slott was on the beginning of it, and I really like that, that whole run. That was really fantastic. All right, our copper is speed. All right, so we got a Young Avenger for our copper. And I know this last card's not Moon Knight, but let's see who it is. Oh, whoa, Enchantress. But this is a gold version. That's cool. Not numbered, but still got a gold one. Awesome. You know, that's funny, these things about these variants. I'm not a big fan. Like, uh, it's kind of like comic books. Like, comic books are like... Oh, we have this variant cover. You got to pay twenty dollars for it or whatever. And I'm not always a fan of that. Um, you know, I know it's an incentive to help drive sales for books, and incentives to help drive sales on comics is always a good thing. Try to get more out there so more people can get their hands on them. I totally get it, but in this case, sometimes you know you might get like ten boxes of a set, and maybe the only enchantress you got is this gold one, so you don't have the base one. So then you got to look for you know, but also. I guess I don't like that in some regard, but then the thing I do like about it, if I'm going to play devil's advocate, is that it will benefit because it'll make you part of the community. And then you can go look for someone to trade it with or, you know, vice versa. So maybe someone out there is trying to complete a gold set and you're trying to complete a base set. 
So it's not all bad. But I just, for me, I, I feel like sometimes I'll be like, ah, dang it, I, I just wanted this version of the card or whatever. But uh, And some cards, I'll take whatever I can get. So we got a Dr. Doom in this one. That's fantastic. I love that. So we'll save them for the end. Hopefully between then, here and there, there's a Moon Knight. So we got Nighthawk. And this is the last pack, so I'm hoping for some Moon Knight magic. We got Wasp, this time with the modern art, not the, uh, the the classic art. So that's cool. We got to see a difference of one character like that. Ooh, Claw. Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis in the uh, Marvel Universe. Looked nothing like this, but still, that's okay. Uh, but that's cool. That's a cool card. Uh, our Plain Enchantress. Awesome. And let's see who our copper is. It's got to be Moon Knight because the last card's Do Dr. Doom. So who is it? Oh, it's Hulkling. But that's okay, because look, we got two Young Avengers here in copper. That's pretty cool. And then we got our Iron Lad as well. So I wonder what other Young Avengers characters are in this set. I'll have to look at the checklist and what we'll to find them. So no Moon Knight in this one, unfortunately. If we get a chance to buy another one of these, maybe we will, because trying to buy just the Moon Knight card is can get a little expensive, depending on who you're buying from. So um, we'll still try to hunt that down for, for blue. But we got him a Tigress, so that's cool. But we got me... A Doctor Doom! Oh, he's a base one, but he's still awesome. He's the main villain in Fortnite this season, and Blue is having a field day playing the game and just killing people. But I'm really digging the story. I've been watching some of his footage, and I've played some of it myself. And uh, and I'm really, you know, I'm not as good as he is at it. Um, but I'm still doing okay, and I'm getting a little bit better. Um, but he is, uh, he's killing in that game. He'll, like, wipe out whole squads. He'll do this thing, he'll be like... Squad wipe or whatever he says. I don't know what he does. Um, it, it gets funny though. Um, but I'm using that footage and, and some of the gameplay I played through to to do recaps of the weeks. So you're gonna see more of those coming very soon if they're not already up. But um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of what they're doing in Fortnite right now. And I know Blue is having fun playing it. But I'm liking the storyline and it revolves around Doctor Doom and I think making a deal with Mephisto to bring his mom back and then get these powers to become like this giant Titan or something from Pandora's box. It's like it's this whole thing. And it's actually the comic book version of Doctor Doom entering this universe, uh, the Fortnite universe. So it's it's kind of part of the canon of the stuff of the, you know, the comics. So I'm still top loading him though. Cause it's Dr. Doom. And I, you know, I don't know how rare he is to get, but for me, it's cool to end with him since we're doing all the Fortnite stuff right now, but we got him, we got Enchantress, we got Dark Hawk, we got this Palladium pile driver card from the Wreckers. So we'll try to find a home for that. We got the copper wasp, the blue human torch. We got Tigra, we got copper beast. And then I forgot, these are the cards I took, uh, put aside, but I should top load them. We got copper Hulkling, we got iron lad, Copper Speed, Kang the Conqueror, and then Radioactive Man, because we might try to put a uh, whatever characters are from the Thunderbolts, the original Thunderbolts, uh, we'll try to put together in this. Well, actually, Radioactive Man, was he there in the beginning? I don't think so. he might have been. He might have been. I, th I know he was there later for sure, but um, after they were, got revealed to be villains. But I don't know if he was there in, at the beginning. I'll have to see. But uh, anyway, that's for it for this. You know, uh, Do you guys, did you buy any of these cards? If so, let me know what you think. I, these are cool, actually. These came out better than I thought. If we had the money, I'd probably buy a lot more of these to try to complete a, a set. But I think what we'll do is we'll just try to track down Moon Knight. Um, if we get another you know, really cool deal like we did with a gift card, um, if we get something like that, we'll definitely buy another blaster box. But otherwise, our focus is going to be on Marvel Annual coming up. So you'll definitely see a lot of cards that focus on that. So we'll have a hobby box and some blasters for you. So one of the blasters will probably turn into six shorts, and I'll probably have blue open those. And then I'll do the blaster box on camera here, and then I'll also do the hobby box for you guys. So those will be coming out uh, probably in a week from this going up, hopefully. So thanks so much for watching the show. As always, I do appreciate it. Let me know what you think of these down below. Any cards in here that you're looking for that would help you complete a set. If there's any characters we got that you're trying to complete or whatever, copper ones, whatever you need, hit us up and we'll talk about it. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.